Thank you so much for joining. Uh, welcome to Cleveland. Uh, first thing I kind of want to ask you was, this team has been spending a ton of time together this offseason. It feels like you've had five or six training camps already. How has that helped you acclimate and kind of hit the ground with a running start? Man, I needed a break. <laughs> they were like, when are we meeting? I was like, guys, I just got done playing. Like, what are we doing? But, um, no, I love it. I, I love the guys here. Um, the the organization as a whole, um, everything that we're about here, um, I'm all in for. And, and like you said, we've we've seen a bunch of each other this summer already. I think, um, you know, I just said it on the podium right here. I think a, a team that's together um, – is better than any other talented team in in the building. Um, and, and I think the team that I was on last year showed that. Um, you know, we, we really cared about each other. We um, cared about each other's successes, and, and that's contagious and, and, provokes, and promotes a winning environment. I mean, one of the reasons why Carter and I, when we were doing our free agency previews and that, you are our number one target. You were oh the number gosh. one guy that we wanted. <laughs> you made it. So, so you were one and you we were We manifested. <laughs> um, but one of the reasons is, I mean, obviously you're shooting that you bring to the table, but in Miami, you ran so many of the similar option, uh, actions, like split cuts and actions off mm-hmm. of Bam Adebayo. And with Evan Mobley looking yeah. to take that next step as a playmaker, does the similarity in those type of sets make it easier for you to get acclimated with your new teammates? Absolutely. Um, and I think we're trying to play like that more as a team. So um, it, that was music to my ears when they told me that because I love playing basketball like that. When the ball's moving, everybody's touching it. Um, you know, everybody's involved in the actions. It's just – like I said, it's just a positive thing, and guys are contagious, and, and, it, and it's it's great to play, like, winning basketball like that. So I, I would I love playing like that. I think Evan's fantastic. I think he's a, a great young player. Um, you know, the, the symmetry that I had with Bam, um, you know, takes time, and mm-hmm. I think me and Evan are going to get, you know, a lot of hours in the gym together to, to build that relationship and, the, and that um, coalition together. So uh, it's going to take time, but – I think it can be really special for sure. How much are you adding to that relationship? In, in because obviously you know often Bam gets looked at as you know the initiator, but then you're providing kind of those secondary actions. So from a leadership standpoint, is that something where you're kind of letting other people know where they should be located uh, off ball or or uh, giving advice to Evan in that role? Um, it's mainly the the. The advice between me and Evan is, is going to be huge. Um, I don't want to step on anybody's toes. You know, JB understands basketball with the best of them. So, mm-hmm. um, you know, all the conversation I've had with him is we're all on the same page here. So uh, it's going to be great. I think me and Evan can grow together. And, I, and I've showed him clips of, you know, how me and Bam played together and, you know, areas where I'm going to get him the ball um, and then things that I like. So, I think it's it's going to be a special connection um, that, that we're going to build together, and, and I'm looking forward to, to doing that with him. I know that oftentimes when you kind of have a shooter label, people assume you do the same thing regardless of context, mm-hmm. which is obviously not true. What do you expect to be different about your role here versus your role in Miami uh, over these past couple years? Yeah. Um, you know, I was you know in that just shooting category um, in Miami, which I'm grateful for because I do think I'm – a very good shooter so um but I, I think you know the the defensive part of things um I don't think people really can see uh I, I think I defend a lot better than you know a lot of the shooters in the league um and I think I can provide that to this team and, and you know bring that um I just love playing hard and I love playing good basketball so anything we can do to you know make that happen here I'm I'm all for and um, you know, I, I hope that the fans can can see how much I care about that other end of the ball, and, and uh, we'll make it work. Uh, a follow-up question on that end of the ball. You spent a lot of time guarding fours last yeah. year, and, and even, like, I think it was like 12% of your time guarding fives. Do you expect to kind of move back out to the perimeter a little bit just due to kind of the yeah. way the team is constructed, and what kind of challenges do you kind of foresee with that? Yeah, definitely. I think it was a, a personnel thing in Miami, um, just how the situations and how the matchups worked and – uh, who was playing at that time, but um, I, I would imagine I'd be out more on the perimeter with this team being, you know, bigger with with the two bigs, and um, I'm all for that, though. I, I want to challenge myself. I want to guard the best players possible. You, it happens in the playoffs. Everybody calls me up, and, um, you know, that's nothing I'm not used to, so I'm looking forward to the challenges and um, want to make my presence felt on that end of the ball as well.
Yeah, I, I was impressed just looking at the data of how many positions you did defend, and like e- even in that playoff series against Milwaukee, you know, you're you're guarding Brooke sometimes, you're guarding yeah. Drew, like that is such a wide range. But one of the other things that I, I noticed was the last two years, like you know, they they had the tracking data and all that of, of how open your shots are, and you were taking some of the toughest shots in the league. What what's I appreciate a, you guys doing your research. Oh man. yeah, you're making me look good over. You here. were in the fourth <laughs> percentile for how many open shots yeah. you had. So one, I think that's a, a something that the cast didn't have, which was some that's willing to take those shots against those late closeouts but just in general how much of an advantage is it going to be for you to play with playmakers that are maybe going to get you some easier shots yeah yeah no knock to jimmy butler or, or no. bam or anybody but um it definitely was you know tough shots um and i love tough shots like i love shooting them i love you know making it difficult for some reason not but um, <laughs> I would love to take some easy ones for sure and I think you know Darius and, and Donovan are, are guys that can provide that along with Karis um, too so um, we just have so many guys that are talented with the ball in their hand and um, the ability for me to, to create the spacing and um, like you said take take tough ones and make them um, that's what I'm here to do and that's what my career has been so far so looking to keep doing that oh. uh, Oh, we're, we're incredibly excited to have you here in Cleveland. Uh, Thank you. Welcome to Cleveland, and uh, all the best this season. Thank you, guys. Thank I you so much, Max. Really Thank appreciate you. it. Really appreciate welcome it. Cleveland.